making weapons out of bread ties. There's two different types, a small one and a big one, and I chose the big one because I wanted to make a sword. The first thing I did was cut it apart, which I didn't show, but here I beveled the edge because it makes it look a little sharper and a lot less flat on the sides. And uh, took a lot of extra care not to chop my finger off. And that pretty much takes care of like the actual sword itself. You just bevel all of the edges. And then I took a little piece of plastic. It was laying around, so I thought I'd cut a handle out of it. And of course, I didn't actually show me cutting the handle, because that would make sense. I will show them for you. Thank you kindly, Comrade Bricks. And I took some glue, and I glued the little handle I cut, and put it on the sword. Comrade, it appears you'll need new camera. Yeah, no shit, I'm doing it on my phone, Bricks. You just get it all set up, and you glue the butt end of it. You don't have to worry about the middle part, because you're going to be covering that up with cloth tape. But I painted it white with some surface primer, which probably wasn't necessary, but I'm just feeling it out. I have no idea what I'm doing, really. And then after that, I painted it with some Quicksilver by P3. Seems to be in all of my videos, apparently and just painted the blade of it and then that little nubbin that'll stick out from the handle that uh, will be covered up with cloth tape. And I did a couple coats because the first coat just wasn't enough because the plastic is kind of weird to paint over. So multiple coats is probably the best idea. Don't forget to paint the butt. And this is just wrapping the handle in a very small strand of cloth tape, kind of like I did for my last uh, spear craft that I did, which was kind of cool. But yeah, just wrap it up and then make sure um, you kind of conceal every little nook and cranny. And other than that, it's just a matter of wrapping around. At this point, I thought it looked kind of cool, and I probably should have stopped there, but I didn't. Um, I wanted to like set apart the blade a little bit, maybe make it look like an iron sword instead of like a silver sword. I don't know, for some reason I thought the silver looked too polished almost, and this is kind of a rougher looking sword, so maybe like something an orc would use or whatever. So I just painted it a little darker gunmetal, and voila! And you can make a bunch of different weapons. Daggers, and I made a spear. So it's pretty fun to kind of play around with. See ya!